I'm murdering 16 to the point that it's embarrassing. Hide a grenade in my jeans, douse the booth in kerosene. Shatter your heart's main vein pipe. Insane at night, I might have your career disappear in plain sight. Throw you off the top of a church, stab you with a steeple. I bloody and punch lines like I assaulted a hundred zebras. Yeah, what you did, what kind of calculator, what kind of points you did, you knew Excel, right? I think you're back here to do something. What's up, man? How's your experience been in Mexico so far? Really, really nice. I'm just here to raise it. You'll be fine. The thing about California is that in California, there's parts of California that kind of can pass right to the outside. So, 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 in my opinion, everybody says it, but you know, everybody's always oh, my best album ever when it's their new one. For sure, lyrically, production wise, uh, sonically, it's my best album ever. Of course, it'll never be like the first time you heard me because it was holy, like holy shit, you know what I'm saying? But this is on a whole nother holy shit level. Um, it's just not metaphors and entendres, it's a whole lot of alliterations, a lot of speed and tempo changes. Um, I did physical word playing it where you could actually put the words on a refrigerator and the letters and switch them around like holy shit. Um, so I pushed myself to a really to, to a limit to where my mom who was damn near like a an English professor and only way could listen to it and I could boggle her. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Seems like um, like I was listening to Poison Train this morning and you said you know your mom really didn't want you to be doing rapping but you know acting. Um, you doing any movies coming on? Anything like that? Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, DJ is crazy. Nah, you keep that, you keep that. Nah, nah, nah. So, um, what movies are we going to be catching you here in the near future? Anything? Um, I'm focused on music, music right now. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've turned a few things down that are interesting that maybe I should have took, but um, I'm just focused on the music right now. I'm going to push really, really hard and give that all my energy because I don't want to. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to spread myself so thin. You yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So, it, and, um, even though acting is a whole different demand yeah. on you. The time that it takes to do it is a yeah, lot of exactly. people with it. You keep saying exactly before I finish. Oh, right? my bad. Hold on, so are you listening to me or are you waiting to talk? I say that with love. I'll listen to you. Okay. <laughs> and Chino, um, I wanted to ask you this minute. How important is going gold or uh, platinum, you know, in this industry? Or is it just, you know, keeping it in touch with the underground fan base, would you say? Um, I never got into this music to get rich. When I first started, the music that I was influenced by, the people were not rich. Um, if you notice the first album covers and all of that, I would have my face, I'd lay down and have pins in my face and I'd have my nostrils made bigger and I took pictures like this. It was never about me trying to exploit it um, in a pop kind of way. Um, when I had the opportunity as a child to go to a whole lot of different labels, I chose to go to Rick Rubin because I knew that Rick was going to be, uh, going to be micro specific on what the art form was as he, as he, as he was. I'm not knocking people, it, you do have to make a living at it, and it costs a lot of money to make the music on it. But as far as me, the grassroots and the people who really, really, I kind of enjoy being an artist that you're not my fan or my supporter by accident. Do you know what I mean? You can't find my records half of the places. You don't, you don't become a Chino supporter just because it's a cool thing. It's something that you really, really uh, identify with. So I, I kind of enjoy that, you know? And luckily, I'm in a home position in my life where I don't have to do too many things that I don't want to do financially. So I'm kind of happy to be able to say what I want and do what I want. Um, it feels good. So as far as going gold and platinum, you know, it's good to have that kind of success. But for me, that's not really my litmus of, uh, of what my life's report card is about. It's about the lyrics, huh? It, it really is, man. It really is. Yeah, man. Uh, and a lot of people want to know about this big pun verse, you know, I mean, uh, that came out you know, the blue, everybody's like, whoa, yeah. big pun, you know? Mm -hmm. Is that going to be something that we heard from Big Pun before? Or is um, that be something? Actually, they have used that verse on another thing or whatever, but you never heard it like this. Nice. You never, nice. I promise you, you've never heard it uh, like this. It's phenomenal. I mean, uh, rest in peace, he's passed a long time ago. And when I heard the verse, I was like, God damn, I got to rhyme after that shit. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. That was a dope collaboration with Cannabis too, the Cypher Five Mics. Oh, yeah. I yeah, thought yeah, the internet's yeah. buzzing about that. Yeah, a lot of people like that right there. Right. And that nice joint you just got, man. Yeah, you yeah. it up, you know. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Man, dipping in here to Albuquerque. It's a lot of love out here. Yeah, it really is. Ill really Fest, is. you know, big ups, you know, J Era. So many questions asked, you know, Excel. You only get once in a lifetime, man, but it's all about the lyrics. 
you know, it, it dates back a long time for myself, you know, being a big Chino XL fan, you know. Like you said, it's like Destiny, you get that Chino tape, it's like, wow, you know, it opens up something different, you know. I appreciate that, man, and that, that really is what I do it for. You know what I mean? And what I like about the fact is people are like, damn, man, you've been in this shit for a long time. I don't have to say that that's what I do it for. It's kind of obvious because I've had a lot of opportunities that um, I could have taken that might have completely compromised what the legacy is supposed to be. And um, I've chosen not to do a lot of that shit. I surround myself with the rebel arms and diabolical and what else I need. And people who are on a path with the end in mind, and the end in mind it really is truly an art form. When, in closing, you know, when you go to other parts of the, of the world where they're not as saturated with music as we are in the United States, when they get a CD or they get a tape or they get a piece of art, they're disjointed from the world, right? So when they have to decide whether they're going to get diapers or buy your music, son, they really take that music and they hold that. It's really important to them. They know every word. It is the soundtrack of their life for a while. Um, and the problem with the music today is because people don't realize that, or because we're so saturated in the United States, you know what I mean? They don't realize that the music that they make is really important. I mean, somebody is stopping their life, you know what I mean, for three minutes, you know, to listen to what it is that you have to say. You should probably leave them with something. You know, something just to think about, something yeah. to contemplate. Maybe, maybe, try that, try that. Chino XL, pick up the new CD. It's, it's going to be hot. Is there like a tentative release date that people could cop that? It's either going to come the last week of August or the first week of October. Um, like the single that I just dropped yesterday or whatever, I was waiting, waiting on iTunes or whatever for it to for it to happen or whatever, and I just gave it to the people. You know, the album might have to be the same way. You know, I just hope that people support it so we can just keep moving on. And if they don't, you know what I mean. I'm kind of used to people catching up to what it is that I do. A little bit later, I'm okay with that. That gives you that like shot day longevity. You know what I'm saying? Type of shit. So, well, we hope you enjoyed your stay out here. Now, so far, man. so good, man. So far, so good. Chino XL, lyrical legend. You know everything. You know, cop copies joints for the music, for the lyrics. We out. Truth Five Hundred Five Live Channel Twenty Seven. Big ups, Chino XL. Thank you. Peace. Peace. With razors gripping your face through your neighbor's navel yeah. A fatal fable from Satan's table With an unstable brain cable I'm hateful, blame it on being biracial I'm psychologically an anomaly Should be given formal apologies Honestly, a human oddity A commodity, golly, when Raiden spitting his blood spilling She knows so stuck up, gotta peel me off the fucking ceiling I'm bringing so much beef, it'll make a Hindu mill Who argue, kill you, hearts and eagle Beat you to your partial gristle tissue yeah. Too fast for a photo, I slash a rapping hoopy homo Leave him just skull and crutches like jackasses Movie logo, burn down your fucking Department barricade the fire escape what I